Dude, what's up, fellas? What's up? What's up? Congrats, man. That was awesome. Especially the fact that he's a young blood and he was talking mad shit, and you got to do what Edgar does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, hey, definitely. I just had to let him know. <laughs> I mean, seriously, down, where do you rank that as far as your biggest wins? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't even look at it like that anymore. You don't even uh, remember that fight. I mean, it felt <laughs> it, it felt really good. I was able to get out of there really with any. Uh, any injuries getting nicked up or anything so that's a good one for right now no it was it was awesome and you know i was saying that's gonna happen i'm like no this kid is good he's flashy he's this he's that but he's never fought a grinder like frankie edgar a guy who's been in there with with the best in the world and who's beaten the best in the world <laughs> and that's it's exactly what happened uh it was awesome yeah no thank you i you know i know i had to kind of take it to him close that space uh you know we were ready my coach was always do a great job of making sure we uh, cover all the bases, and we definitely did for this one. Did you feel disrespected at all by the UFC, by people, that they were kind of almost putting you in gatekeeper category, and you were like, no, fuck that, I'm not ready for that? Yeah, no, nah, you know, I don't, I don't sweat, sweat, you know, that's kind of the way this business works. These are younger guys, they got to build them up, you know, they're the future, but, uh, you know, I mean, I guess it's kind of crap shoot for them sometimes, you know, they don't know if... Uh, Who's always gonna gonna pan out? But you know, if he, if he did win, it would have looked good for them. But uh, we had to pull the brakes on that one. No, it was awesome. Now you sprinted to the octagon. I, I never saw anybody more excited to get into the cage to fight. Was that is, is that what you usually do, or is that was this like a new thing? No, nah, I always run to, to the cage. Uh, I can't help it. It's kind of the wrestling days you run out, and you know, I, I you know you wait you're waiting ten eight weeks to fight this guy. I don't want to wait a second longer, so. If I, if I can make it any quicker, I always do. Yeah, no, it, it was it was honestly, I was going crazy. I, I, I was super happy. Now, how do you train for a guy like uh, a guy like Yair with his like karate background? Yeah, I'm mean, luckily, I, you know, I've been training with Edson Barboza, Mom Mariah the past five years, and you know they throw some of the, the nastiest kicks in, in the sport of MMA. I brought in uh, Martin Day, he's Hawaiian, you know, uh, really a taekwondo specialist. I think he's like six and zero, seven and zero as an MMA fighter himself. So he actually helped get BJ ready for a year, and uh, that's how he found him. He gave me a you know phenomenal look. I had him out for about three weeks. Had a you know several sparring sessions with him and with him. So that that helped me out big time. No, it was awesome. Um, now, do you a lot of times a lot of people were saying that that's how the Connor fight would have went if you fought Connor. Uh, is that how is that how you think it would have went? Uh, you know, I mean, he's a different fighter, but yeah, I mean, I, I like to think I could do that to, to a lot of people. Um, you know, and, and that might be the way me and Connor would have went down. Yeah, for sure. I was, I was so happy, man. I was like, I mean, you're right there. Uh, you're now fighting the winner, right, of Aldo uh, versus um, Holloway. Who do you think wins that fight? You know, I, I don't know. Uh, it's tough, tough one to call. Holloway's been on such a tear. You know, he's really coming into his own. And Aldo, not too long ago, was, was talking about retirement. So who knows how, you know, his, how his heart is heading, his head is heading into this fight. Um, but, yeah, that, that's going to be a tough fight. I, I don't know if I'm definitely getting the winner. I mean, I believe I should get the winner, and, you know, I'm going to lobby for it. So uh, I'm just hoping for the best at this point. Uh, did, did you watch the, uh, the fight before that between Alvarez and Poirier? I, I was in the back, but, yeah, you know, I mean, I, you know, Eddie's my teammate. Uh, you know, Mark and Ricardo in his corner, obviously. So, I would I have my eyes on it. It's, it's always tough to to focus so much on that when you're you're pretty much the next fight. But uh, yeah, I was calling for him. Now, it was a crazy fight. Both guys came and really brought it down. Yeah, and I was saying that I think Eddie was was mounting a comeback. Bubba says that he doesn't think that's what would have happened. He said he think Poirier would have would have finished him. I'm like, I don't know, man. No, uh, see, well, yeah, first of all, you can't ask I mean, a, a New Jersey, New Yorker guy how he feels about Eddie Alvarez because yeah. it's going to be biased by <laughs> location alone. Yeah, Plus, I'm definitely biased. I'm definitely biased. But believe it or not, I'm, I'm, I'm buddies with Dustin. He's a, he's a, a stud, too. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, you know, I, that's Eddie fight, man. Typical Eddie fight. I mean, poorly has been in fights like that, too. That's why I, I was so interested in that matchup. They're kind of two of the same guys. But uh, that's Eddie's way, man. He gets rocked. He, sometimes he doesn't start fighting until he's a little dinged up. And uh, he was coming on, you know, pouring on heavy at, at that moment. But I would have liked to see that fight go on. Obviously, maybe they'll, they'll run it back, those two guys. Now, the, 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 uh, the, the Conor Alvarez fight. Now, you, you train with Eddie. I'm sure those probably are legendary sparring sessions. You guys are both monsters. But when you see the way Conor fucked up Eddie, does that discourage you 
and like think to myself, oh shit, maybe this dude is on a level, or does that just, you know, MMA math doesn't really work, and just because he beat Eddie that way doesn't mean how that's how your fight would have went with him. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't look at that at all, and you know, I, I, I ain't, I ain't sweating anybody. You know, I don't care how any of their previous fights go. I always give myself, a, you know, the benefit of the doubt. But uh, you know, Eddie definitely didn't follow the um, the game plan in that fight. He'll tell you that himself. I kind of think Eddie laid an egg. I don't take anything from Conor, man. He he is special. He puts guys away with you know with, with minimal minimal uh, effort at times. Um, but you know, I I've seen fights where Conor looked great, and I've seen fights where he struggled. So you know, I, I don't see any reason why I can't make him struggle too. Do you think he's gonna come back to forty five? I don't know, man. I don't know who who knows if he even comes back to MMA at all. I mean, he makes his big payday with Floyd. Shit, he might just be chilling. Yeah, and I mean, how do you think that, that Floyd fight, I think it goes, Floyd gets him out of there in four or five rounds, if that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I can't really call that. Uh, I, I, like, if I had to bet all my money, I'm, I'm betting it on Floyd without a doubt, but I'll probably throw some on McGregor. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like 16 to 1. Uh, but yeah. when you, I mean, when you got Edgar money, you could... You can spin on a little bit on both sides. <laughs> I don't know about egg or money, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, you, you you took a bunch of guys to Bahrain, and you were you were the head of the Bahrain wrestling team or something. But what the fuck happened? Why were you in Bahrain? No, um, Shit Khaled uh, from Bahrain um, is you know really into MMA. He started an MMA organization called KHK MMA, and actually he recently just started Brave uh, Promotions, Brave. Uh, Promotion. I believe they had six six fights so far. Um, you know, Kazakhstan, Bahrain, India, Brazil. I believe they're going back to, to Brazil in July. So I commentate. I commentate for them. So that's the connection there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then, but okay. So you, did you did you did you train out there, or? I did. I did when uh when we, when we all kind of introduced him, when he introduced the team to the media and everything. Um, I, I did train out there a little bit. I've actually been to Bahrain twice. I, I've I've done comedy for the U.S. military out there. And uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's one one of the biggest bases in the Middle East out there, I believe. Yeah, it, it was kind of fun, but it was interesting. Did you did you go to that karaoke bar where there's like all these Filipinos there and it's just? Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> it's funny, man. It's definitely a trip. Oh, it's hot as shit out there too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, how's the wife and kids? Everybody's doing good, man. Kids are uh, enjoying this this weather turning. Hopefully. Uh, Get some good summer weather on the East Coast. You know how that goes. Now, your three kids are Francisco, Santino, and Valentina. Could you make them any more Italian? Like, like what was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You know, my, my oldest, Francesco, that's, that's my, my grandfather's name. So right. that was kind of respect to him. And then Santino always liked. Valentina seemed to just fit, so we kept the wrong one. <laughs> right. Now, you're, you're, you're a two sons wrestle. And I, I remember I, uh, I hit you up one time to do the podcast, and you said your daughter had her play. So she and I go. Oh, I'm sure she's gonna kill it. You're like she's two. Uh, what was yeah. <laughs> what, what was the play? Oh, it was uh, Doctor Seuss play. So you know she had like a little bit of lines. It was uh, again. She's two years old. So as long as she got up there, it's, it's all I need. So it, it was cool. I was actually she was like one of the first ones. I went to grab her off stage, and I'm like, she's like, oh, no, you can't take her. She's just she's at the end too. I'm like. Damn, <laughs> they had to sit through all them two-year-olds, you know. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, uh, your 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 kids are wrestling. Are you, you gonna have her wrestle or no? Hell no. Uh-uh. She, uh-uh. So she'll do jiu-jitsu. Actually, my my wife just started doing jiu-jitsu about a year ago, and she's a three-stripe white belt. So I'll get my daughter some jiu-jitsu. I think eventually. Nice. Your wife. Your wife is smoking hot, by the way. She came to my comedy show. She was super nice, and they so Frankie came to Jersey, and then they like, hey. Tomorrow we're having a party. Will you do comedy in our kitchen uh, uh, during the party? And I was like, it was. I was like, I had some. I'm like, I don't know, but thank you. I, I almost did it too. I was like, that actually would have been a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> so now, 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 are you still working at uh, at uh, Rutgers as the assistant coach? No, I'm still involved with the program. I help them I, uh, whenever I can, and uh, you know, a lot of times I'll work out with those guys, or I'll have some of them guys come down and. Uh, and work out with me. Uh, it's nice to train with, you know, Division One wrestlers whenever you can. Yeah, of course.